is early June and I am here at Clay Bank on the Cleveland Way. I didn't realise there was a car park here last time I finished here. So I'm just 100 metres or so down the road from where the Cleveland Way crosses. And it's quite a nice car park with a fantastic view. Welcome to Clay Bank. Well, it's Rosebury Topping. This hill over here. So the western, um, the western side of this collapsed in the 19th century. And there's a Captain's Cook monument. Ah, oh, I think I can see it. Finish getting stuff from my car and then I am gonna have a mid-morning snack so it's that time already and then I'm gonna head on on the Cleveland way see how far I can get before turning around and coming back So I'm climbing out of Clay Bank now and I'm not sure I can see but I'm climbing I seem to recall it was going to be a fairly steep hill to begin with and then that's going to be it really for climbing I think it was Carridge C-S-R-R which is um, it's an old English word coming from an old Norse word meaning marshy. Yeah, the Vikings left us a lot of things, um, especially place names. So, car is marshy. Um, in Scotland, it's spelt um, K E R R, pronounced care. So, so uh, a surname from um, I think it was one of the border clans the um, border weavers right I'm slowly making my way up round hill now it's actually quite gentle now I've got over the big climb and um, I think this is Greenhow Bottom, looking down into see some of the plantations around it. Now my map has the plantations running completely around but it looks like. Some has been harvested just there, and again across the other side. There's some more just below me on the side of the hill. Ooh, it's um, nice this side of the hill because it's out the wind a little bit. That wind really is very cold on your neck. So that must be the top of the hill. Okay, so I'm just gonna curl around here and go up to it. It's a nice place to stop when you know you're at the top. So it's a yeah. Uh, very old burial ground. This is a nice view. It's actually a wonderful day. Now I've finished most of the climb. This um, dirt bridleway is very easy to walk on. And I don't know if you can hear it, but the birds are singing and it's just very pleasant. Right, I think that must be a shooting platform for when people um, hunt birds like grouse and things. There's some um, vehicles here and I've heard guns firing. 
So people might be out shooting today. See, it will be quiet and foggy to get through here if they'd not put these slabs down. I find they do this quite often in England, put these slabs down on these uh, foggy bits and it also helps prevent erosion. See, I walked down there and it looks like there's been a fire. I sat on the opposite side and I filmed across here an hour and a half or so ago. Day. Lots of clouds, but it's not overcast. The sunlight's getting through. But there's seen so many of these things out today. It's like they're all migrating on mass to somewhere. I can actually see where I parked my car today. It is one of those over there. So to get up there, there was a road that you can see it. And I think when I finish walking as far as I want to walk today, I can cut across this valley here and then up that road. See a closer look at the Captain Cook Monument and also that hill that had its um, western face collapse in the uh, 19th century. I do hope no one was um, mining it at the time. So that's a nine mile walk I've done today. Feels quite good. Cleveland Way has joined a slightly bigger road now. It's still not a huge one, so I'm just going to follow this one. Kildale, hopefully I'll find a, a bench to sit on and have my lunch and try and figure out the best route to take back to my car. Oh, here we are. I don't think there's too much to the village itself, just a small hamlet really. Right, so this is Kildown. Let's have a look at the little information sign. And there's a train station here. And it says there's a cafe and a church, um, which is dating back from the times of Saxons. 
but it was rebuilt in the 1800s. So, okay, so the Cleveland Way turns left here. But I think I'm not going to follow it anymore today. I think that is enough. I'm kind of following the um, Cleveland Way. Oh, and there's a bench just here. Perfect, I can have my lunch. Alright, so this has been a nine mile day so far. Um, hopefully it's not going to be nine miles on the way back. It should be a bit quicker if I cut across through the farm tracks. If I can find a way across. Okay, I made it back to the um, car park at Claybank. Um, managed to give myself a stitch walking up the road. I, I drank a lot of water and I gave myself water stitch, which is never a pleasant feeling. Um, what have I done? I've done 15 miles today in um, six, seven hours. So it's not too bad. Um, I've had a nice time. It's been really pleasant weather, nothing too bad. Um, a little bit cold wind to start with, but now I've had a really good day. So I'm going to head back home now and until next time, thank you for watching.